Hi and welcome to another getting started with Unity tutorial on www.unitycookie.com. My name is Gabriel Williams and in this tutorial we will be going over the topic of just uh, basic animation within Unity. So this will be uh, used for lots of things whether you're just moving maybe some environment objects around like a uh, leaves on a tree or a flag or something or a uh, maybe a cinematic uh, movie scene we need to move in the camera on some objects and such all this uh, we can do it right within unity no need to have an external program like Maya or Max or some such uh, unity has its own very nice tools to to use right from here so we'll start by creating just a simple game object to be animated in this case maybe just a cube and we need to add the animation component to it so just under the component menu miscellaneous animation. And of course make sure you have the cube selected when you add that. So now we see the component right down there and we just need to open the animation window to get started. So under the window animation. Uh, with this we have first of all of course just the option to resize it as you might need if, if your window has uh, enough room or, or some such. And then we have uh, along the left hand side here all the options that you can currently animate on the selected object. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit here. You can do a lot of nifty things with the Unity uh, animation. We'll just be taking a look in this tutorial at moving the transform around, so moving and rotating and scaling and such. Uh, we also have the record button, play button, uh, these buttons here that'll move between keyframes, our timeline over here, which is going to show us what's happening and when, and um, that's about it. So pretty simple and straightforward. We'll go ahead and start this animation by clicking the record button and then saving this animation we're about to create. I'm going to say my animation. Save. Alright, and that record button is on. You'll notice these, uh, the play, pause, and skip buttons have now turned red. We can't use those while in record mode. And we can go ahead and set up some animations for this. So. If we're going to uh, maybe, let's say, move this box around a bit or something, the first thing you'd want to do is probably set a keyframe at the point that it currently is. So it's going to move from there. And keyframes, uh, in case you haven't used them before, are simply where uh, Unity or, or any uh, whatever animation tool you're using is going to be storing the data for that particular point in time. So we just need to create one of those, a keyframe right at the uh, time zero here at the current position and I will do that by selecting the transform and clicking the add keyframe button. Simple as that. We've seen it appear there and it's going to read off all of the values at this point in time. You can see if we move this notice this little icon here leaves that uh, diamond shape. It shows we're not on a current keyframe and there it's on there. And we can move maybe uh, this goes by seconds, so 1 is a full second and 0.30 here is half a second. So we're going to move up to 1 second and then maybe drag this over and you can see it creating little lines and extra keyframes in here. Maybe we want to go like this and like that. So there we have that and we can drag the timeline slider here back and forth and seeing it animating. Uh, just as simple as that right there. Uh, we can set, of course, more uh, keyframes if we want. Go a little further, and maybe it's going to go here and then down. Whatever you might happen to need. There it goes. So, it's as uh, simple as that to set it up. If you want to take a closer look at these, uh, you can hit F on your keyboard, and it will zoom in and show you all of your keyframes uh, a little more close up, which is easier. But of course, you can hold down the Alt key and pan around just like you would in the editor. Uh, and use your scroll button to zoom in and out on those if you like. Usually just hitting F is the best way to, to see them exactly as they are. So once we have our animation exactly as we want it, we can go ahead and turn off the record mode. Close out of this. And now in Unity, if we hit play, waiting, waiting, and... Ah, we have nothing. Uh, in this case, so we probably need to connect our animation to that cube. So, no worries, we will select our cube, and over here in the component list, we notice that uh, animation is not connected, it says not, no animation. So, very simple, we just need to grab that animation, which we saved out, 
and drag and drop it right into that slot right there. And there it sits up. And make sure this play automatically checkbox is on, which will make it play as soon as we hit the play button. And now, cross our fingers. There it goes. So, simple, simple. We have our animation happening. Uh, maybe though we want this to constantly loop or go back and forth. We've got a couple, a couple options on that. So we just need to go to the animation file in your project list over here and choose the wrap mode right here. Uh, you've got a couple options once, loop, ping pong, and clamp forever. The ones you really want to use are uh, once, which of course uh, as it is doing right now the animation will happen one time, never again. Loop, which will constantly uh, go back and forth Ooh, I am running out of battery. Um, well, more reason to keep going here and uh, finish this up. So once loop or ping pong, we'll just go back and forth as it sounds. So let's try ping pong and then hit play. And as you can see, there, back and forth, back and forth. Possibly useful for items like, uh, again, um, something waving in the wind that's hitting in your environment, uh, anything like that that you want to just happen over and over back and forth. We can change this to loop, which will look a little different. So now we'll go to the end, restart at the front of the animation, and keep going so it doesn't rewind at all like, like ping pong does. Or maybe once, which of course will simply happen one time. And there it goes. So uh, that is the basics of animating within Unity. Uh, just like uh, it all looks there, it's very, very simple to set up lots of uh, nifty animations, whether it be for your uh, cinematic you're setting up or just some environmental objects or such. Very easy to do and no need to go out of Unity, purchase extra licenses, etc. Uh, so much can be done right within here. And don't forget to look forward to Unity 3.5, which they are promising some very cool new animation features. Okay, well that's it for the two, uh, tutorial on the intro to animation. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the future tutorials. Thanks!